Today we got to talk about six different games that are being rumored and leaked out there for Nintendo Switch 2. And believe it or not, there's this idea floating out that Switch 2 might not have Joy-Cons, which is very weird as that is one of the defining features of Nintendo Switch. But hey, don't take it from me. Before we dive in, I just got to let you know about today's sponsor. The Ugreen Revo Pro 210 is your one-stop solution for your USB-C expansion needs. As a content creator who often has to take his work on the go, it's important to me to be able to expand my laptop interfacing options so I can hook up multiple external monitors, ethernet, and even a slew of USB-C devices. It's even useful at home when I want to switch out from my Mac Studio to my Windows laptop for work purposes. With the RevoDoc Pro 210, you simply plug it into an available USB-C port on your Windows laptop and you get instant access to one USB-A 3.0 port, two USB-A 2.0 ports, an RJ45 jack available at 1000 megabytes per second speeds, a micro and standard SD card slot, and two HDMI ports that support up to two monitors at once, up to 4K 60 hertz or 8K 30 hertz. It also supports 85 watt pass-through charging, so if your laptop charges through USB-C, you can still use this dongle and charge your laptop at the same time. You can use this with Mac devices as well, and you know that I need to do that because USB expansion is desperately needed with my Mac Studio, which has a ton of USB-C ports. Please note due to Mac operating system limitations, all extended monitors will display the same content. Ugreen sent us two other versions that do support external displays for Mac with expansion ports as well. So they have options for Mac users too. I really appreciate them sending these extra ones in as I'll be employing them on my Mac Studio today. If you want to get the Ugreen RevoDoc 210 today, you can do so for a whopping 29% off at the link in the description. We'll also include links to the other docs they have here that specifically support monitors for Mac. All right, so first we're gonna talk about five games coming from Sega. These should probably be expected already, but we do have a source on this, and it comes from a user on Twitter called MBKKSSTBHZ5. Yes, that is a mouthful. Anyways, they are apparently a known Sega and Atlas insider, and they said the titles of the Game Award event are coming to the next Nintendo hardware, and those titles being Jet Set Radio, Crazy Taxi, Golden Axe, Shinobi, and Streets of Rage. <laughs> Yeah, little emphasis there. Uh, he did say the Jet Set Radio game is not a remake. It's a reboot that will launch in 2026. And then he does come down here and say Crazy Taxi had a remake and reboot initiative. And it's planned to launch in 2027. So that is pretty interesting to me. And the more I think about Sega games coming to Switch 2, the more I think it just sort of makes sense. Like, yeah, it's a rumor, but it's one that just seems logical. Sega and Nintendo work very well together. So, hey, we're going to get these five games. Now, the one I'm most excited about is Shinobi. I've always enjoyed the Shinobi franchise, so getting more of that on a next-gen Nintendo platform just seems wonderful to me. These games are going to be on other platforms as well, but still pretty cool. Now, the next game we're going to talk about is actually more exciting to me not because it won't be a multi-platform game but because it's going to be there around if not day one on nintendo switch 2. Ooh, baby what are we talking about well you see when we go over to family boards here we have this user named milo and he says a new spyro will be a nintendo switch 2 launch title or at least a launch window now you might go who the heck is milo why do we care what he has to say well that's a fair question, and from what I could tell, he is somebody who works in the industry. He's been at the Game Awards 2023 After Party, which is just for industry people. So, look, I don't know a whole lot about him, but everyone over at Family Board seems to think that he's pretty legit. So, 
We're just kind of rolling with that. Uh, I guess we'll find out when the Switch 2 comes out. Now, Spyro, to me, I have a love-hate relationship with. Many games I have liked from the franchise. Then there's been some I haven't. And the weird thing is, there's rumors that Toys for Bob has been closed and everyone's been laid off. But then there's counter rumors saying, nah, they just closed the studio, but everyone still works there. They're just working remotely. I don't know what to believe, right? There's so many rumors and, and leaks and Xbox is really hard to trust with anything. So who the hell knows? Now, the last thing though, and this is to me is maybe the most interesting conversation point is the controllers for the Nintendo Switch 2. Now, I've been working under the presumption the whole time we were going to get updated new versions of the Joy-Cons, maybe more ergonomic so we don't need to use grips, but it was going to be something that made a lot of sense. And for some reason, we now have reports out there saying that, well, that might not be the case. Now, this is just informed speculation. Call it a prediction. We're not going to say this is a leak or rumor. But Nate the Hate and Digital Foundry on the on Nate the Hate's podcast had a very long conversation about this idea that Nintendo Switch 2 will not have Joy-Cons, which just seems baffling to me because you get rid of instant multiplayer, you get rid of uh, t tabletop mode. I, I don't really like it, but then... You also look at it as Nathan Hates said, well, they could pack a pro controller in. And I'm sitting here looking at my Switch like, okay, so you have this, and then you grab a controller, you throw it in. Is that really so bad? No, but is that really like Nintendo to remove functionality that made Switch a Switch and then have to put an extra controller in? Ah, man, I don't know. It's one of the differentiating factors that separates Switch from a lot of these other handheld platforms out there. I don't know that I actually believe that uh, Nintendo would just throw away the idea of Joy-Cons. Many of you might want them to go that route, though. They didn't do it with the Nintendo Switch Lite, so we can't just say it's impossible. I just think it's unlikely Nintendo would ever go that route. But you know what? This is why we have these conversations, because you guys can let me know what you want, what you think, down in the description. And you can let me know what you want with these games as well, down in the description. So I'm going to throw the conversation to you. What do you think? And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.